Hello and welcome to Sketch Note. In this video, let's talk about what workspaces are, what the differences between your workspace options look like, and which one can be used for what type of file. Let's get started. First, let's talk a little about what workspaces really are. Let's imagine this. Think of your Sketch Note organization as a virtual office flow. This is where all your colleagues can be found. All departments and projects reside on this flow, and everything related to your work is here. As you move further into this office flow, you can find departments on either side of you. Teammates that work in the same department sit together, and so do all the files that they work on together. People from one department can walk over to the other one, speak with colleagues there, and even look at their work. All to better coordinate tasks and work together in tandem. these up public work spaces now imagine a few people from one department or multiple departments sitting in a conference room with a do not disturb sign on the door others can't join in or look at the files that the team inside is working on these are locked or private work spaces finally imagine your own desk where you sit doodle on pieces of paper and stick them on your notice board this is your private space No one else can look into your space or read your files unless you wish to share your work with some other folks. When you allow one or more teammates to look at your work, you find these pieces of work in shared spaces. Now, let's talk in detail about creating and running these workspaces. Create your first workspace by clicking on the add new workspace button on your side panel. Once the panel pops up, choose a name for your workspace and a logo for it you can even add your own logo to customize the look and feel of your workspace next add a bit of description to help your teammates understand what this workspace is for Now choose whether you want this workspace to be public or private. If you let the workspace be public, everyone in your organization will not only be automatically added to the workspace but will also have access to all files inside it. If you choose the private option, you will need to add members from your organization that will have access to the files inside manually. Added your names Awesome. Now, create your workspace. In private workspaces, you can hit the kebab menu from the side panel, choose manage members at any time at all and add new members. When you move to the general settings tab, you can find options to rename your organization, icon and description. You can also delete your workspace. Be careful though. Unlike files, you can't restore a workspace that you accidentally delete. You will lose access to all files permanently. Both public and restricted workspaces have a home page that lets you see details about the space at a glance. Here, you can add a cover, change the name, icon and description of the workspace. You can even see if the workspace is public or private and use the add member button to quickly bring in more teammates. You can also see a list of members already a part of this workspace here. There's also a handy new button on this home page that allows you to quickly start a file in this workspace by default. Take a look at the recent files in this workspace as well as favorited ones. Files you pinned to a workspace can be found on the sidebar. right under the name of the workspace now let's talk about private files click on view all to check out all your private files you can pin important files for faster access or favorite them to find them on your home screen When you share a file from your private space, they move to the shared space located just on top of your private one. You can favorite and pin files here as well. 
and that's how you can work with different types of workspaces in sketchnote make files meant for everyone accessible across the board and information meant for select audience private to them easily